Hello and welcome to our newborn photography safety series brought to you by Stand In Baby. My name is Sandra Moffat and in an effort to make sure that we bring you all the information and facts relating to newborn safety, joining me throughout this series is well-respected neonatal nurse Anne-Marie Fieri, who will be advising us on the essentials to safely working with newborns in a studio environment. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about safety issues with newborn photography. But before we start, I'd like to say that if you are unsure about anything you hear during this series, please seek advice from a medical practitioner near you and get the answers that you need. If you have been given information from other sources, make sure it's a reliable source because the health and well-being of our clients should always be put first. In this tutorial, we are going to do a walkthrough of our universal wrapping technique, the Evolution Wrap, transitioning into the potato sack pose. We will be covering what to look out for as well as what to avoid to safely achieve these looks and poses. But before we begin, please remember, prior to wrapping, dressing or adding extra layers to a baby, make sure that you reduce the temperature in your studio. Let's take a look. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the evolution wrap as well as the potato sack pose. I actually think these two things work really well together if you want to transition through a few different looks and situations uh, with minimal movements to the baby. So to do that, what I actually need to do first is I need to show you the evolution um, base wrap. So this is just how we need to get the wrap um, before we start moving into everything else. So to do that, first of all, I've got this stretchy wrap um, from the Indie Cottage and I'm just I've got one long side and one short side. The short side just needs to be long enough to come across the body and tuck in. I want the legs to still be out. 